Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys from Fierce Wireless. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So I feel and I'm very confident that T-Mobile's 7 to 8 million guidance that they gave back in on the analyst day in 2021 for home broadband fixed wireless access is an outdated guidance with this auction 108 spectrum. When they gave that guidance, they did not at that time have the auction 108 in it in their possession and now they do. So I feel internally their guidance their guidance and targets are already updated and they're already probably closer to to 9 to 10 million just with auction 108. That doesn't include any of the other methods that they may be testing like millimeter wave um, C-band DOD uh, additional capacity. That doesn't include any of that. I think now just with the auction 108 and all of these white spaces and counties that they got additional spectrum in, they can probably push 9 to 10 million now on FWA. I've seen it. I've seen people go from, from 80 to 180 megahertz. I've seen it go from 50 to 160 I've been seeing it all over X. I've been seeing it all over Reddit. It's it's happening very quickly, and it's a it's a big boost to the network that will allow them to monetize and add more FWA users onto the network. It's something that they're going to do. We know they're going to do this. It's coming. They're going to open up more slots for FWA customers. It's just it's just natural progression at this moment. There's a ton more spectrum on air. Let's let's monetize. Let's let's grow, and that's something that T-Mobile is really good at, and that's what they're going to do. So I feel it's it's very valid to assume that their guidance is already well above seven to eight million, nine to ten, and I feel now with this newfound spectrum, the C-band DoD, the millimeter wave, right? When whenever they figure out those methods, and what they're going to do with that. We will need another analyst day very soon. I think it has to be in this calendar year. They're going to blow through the 2025 guidance, and they're already well over targets. Like on FWA, the the 400,000 per quarter that they that they talked about recently at the Morgan Stanley conference that they would be closer to 400,000 for Q1, that already gets them to 7 to 8 million easily. No problems. So if they have a quarter, which is a possibility where they go 450, 500,000 again, I mean, they're already shooting well over the 7 to 8 million. And that could be a more of a possibility now because of all of the homes passed with this new auction 108 spectrum. So this is a bigger deal. This is a bigger deal, this auction 108 spectrum than, than some, some made it out to be. This is a bigger deal. This gets them more homes passed. Like I said, more slots open up now, more opportunity to sell the product. Gets them, of course, more revenue. Cable has to monitor this very closely. In some of these rural areas, I'm already seeing speeds over two gigs where they added auction 108 spectrum. Now I know I said this in a, in a previous video already. There's still some backhaul limitations out there. So you're probably seeing more spectrum, but not faster speeds. But if you're getting five, six, seven hundred, why, why is anybody complaining about that? Or are you more jealous that you're not getting over a gig like someone else? Like, you know, it's it works. Use the connection for what it's intended to, to do and and go on about your day. Why are you complaining about 500 megabits, 300 megabits even? If it can handle your daily tasks, then, you know, just, just let it be. If you get to a gig at some point, so be it. If they get 10, 10 gig circuits and they provision five gig backhaul, then so be it. But right now, just take what you can get. Just take what you can get. And if you feel like you're paying, or whatever you're paying is, is you're getting every dollar's worth, then just go on about your day. So that's what I, that, that's, that's, that's a confident statement of mine. The, the, the guidance likely has already been raised internally. I'm thinking it's closer to 9 to 10 million now. 
And I think they get there fairly quickly. I don't think they need another three, four years to get to that nine to ten million. I think they they probably factored in another year of growth, 25 and 26, 2026, and that likely gets them to that nine to ten million. So I think they do need a guy, another analyst state to update. I don't know if it needs to be as big as the one they did in 2021. I think that one was like four hours long. Um, maybe two hours this go around to kind of give us more of a deep dive, right? We need a deep dive. Okay, you said 11,000 or 10 to 11,000 sites today have the 2.5 radio deployed where you can immediately uh, deploy auction 108 over software, right? Over the air software. What about the other sites that you still need to deploy to take advantage of auction 108? You know, how long is that going to take? How many sites are you deploying right? We need better questions from these analysts. We just do. We need better questions in regards to auction 108, the spectrum, the size and scale, and, and everything else. So just wanted to talk about that in today's video. Hear your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.